how to become magnetic AF. That woman who's got all the vibes, people want to be around, you've got men pursuing you, you've got people who want to get to know you, you've got opportunities opening up for you. How do you become magnetic AF? So often I think we think that being magnetic is a lot to do with how we look externally. So we end up spending so much money on our dresses, makeup, hair, etc, etc. And I'm not saying these things don't matter. To certain degrees, they do create a first impression and they can help us feel good to some degree. But actually, becoming magnetic is so much more than just the way we look like. It's our energy that we exude, that people can sense when we walk into the room. It's who we are. It's who we become. And who we become is a result of the, our daily habits and the things that we do. This is what makes us magnetic. And in this video, I want to share with you four ways, four things that you can practice to help you become magnetic, irresistible, sexy, so that you can attract the things that you want. You don't need to chase. You are a magnet. You attract with ease. So let's get straight into it. What's the first things, my lovely, that you can practice to become a super magnetic person, magnetic AF? The first thing is to find ways to move your body that you enjoy. This is so important because if you can find something to move your body, to move around that you enjoy, you're likely to stick to it. And the reason why this is so important and it instantly makes you magnetic is because when you're moving your body, it helps you to feel good. And this is what raises your vibration, your energy, and people can sense that. So find something. I really encourage you to find something where you can get into the zone where you feel like you lose yourself, you lose track of time that you enjoy doing. And for everyone, that's different. For me, I love doing yoga, I love dancing. For you, that could be something completely different. For example, it could be walking, it could be going to the gym and lifting weights. Whatever it is, I encourage you to find something to help move your body. This will automatically make you magnetic because when you're moving, this is what makes you feel good. When you feel good, you look good, you give off this positive vibes and people will Honestly, they will be drawn to you because they can see that you look good, you feel good in your own body, you're comfortable, you're feeling sensual and sexy. And this is what makes you magnetic. The second thing, number two, what can you do to make you magnetic AF is to find an intellectual hobby to feed your curiosity. When you're someone who's got a growth mindset, who's exploring different topics, you're curious, you're interested to find out about different things, you, just, you like to stimulate your mind and brain, this makes you freaking sexy. This makes you magnetic AF. And it's a myth. Whoever says that guys are not into intellectual women, that's BS. Honestly, I meet so many guys time and time again who say they really appreciate women who can they can intellectually connect with, who can stimulate them intellectually, who can they, who they can connect with intellectually. It's the same goes for the other way around. If I meet a guy and he's good looking outside, but he's got nothing to talk about, honestly, that would be me done. I need to also connect with someone where I can have conversation with. It's the same way. If you can work on yourself and if you can work on your curiosity, learning new things, maybe learning a new language, maybe you can learn to read new books about philosophy, the meaning of life. When you become someone who's constantly trying to work on yourself, who's got a growth mindset, you become magnetic AF. This is when you'll have interesting things to talk about on dates. This is when someone will be always curious to find out about you and the things that you are into. So I encourage you to explore and to challenge yourself mentally in different situations, in different things, in different experiences, this will definitely help make you magnetic AF. The next point, point number three, how can you become magnetic AF, irresistible, sexy, draw people into you, is to try 
and get yourself involved in doing something creative. Unleash that artist in you to express yourself. I really believe every single one of us is a creative being. When you can find something that you connect with, this will really help you to be in the zone. And this is what makes you magnetic. I really find it sexy when I see people really involved in something that they're passionate with, whether, whether that's playing an instrument, singing, whatever it may be. I just think people who are passionate in something that's creative, they just exude this mag magnetic energy that we all love, that we're all obsessed with. So I really encourage you, whatever it may be for you, creativity is different for everyone. But I can guarantee you, you will find something that's creative, that you connect with, that will help you become magnetic, that you can do on a daily basis. So for example, maybe it is art that you could do pottery. Maybe it's playing music, an instrument, singing. Maybe it's cooking. Cooking is creative. Bring in different ingredients together. This is all creative. Baking, whatever it is for you, gardening, we're all into different things. That's the, that's the beauty of life, that we're all into different things. Find what it is for you that you connect with. Honestly, this will make you magnetic because this is something that you feel passionate about. And when you're passionate about something, it exudes this confidence, sexy energy that we want to be part of that draws people in. The next point, point number four, what can you do on a daily basis that makes you magnetic? This this sexy energy that we want. Point number four is to practice, is to have a spiritual practice so that you can be at peace and connect with yourself. This is so important when the world out there is so crazy. It's always bringing us curveballs, the challenges, ups and downs. We cannot control that. But one thing you can control is the relationship you build with yourself. Having a spiritual practice is like giving your soul a nice hug on a daily basis, which helps you become grounded, centered with yourself. And we all love to be around people who are at peace with themselves. This is when you become magnetic. Someone who's like unbothered, who's calm, cool, collected. We love that. This is what makes you magnetic. So what are the ways that you can do that? Some of the ways is to practice yoga, meditation. For me, I love doing yoga every single day. I try. I just love it. It just really helps me feel grounded and connected with my body to know that I'm doing something for my body to help me feel centered and balanced for the day. So I really encourage you. It can be, it doesn't have to be yoga. It can be something such as, for example, doing a gratitude, positive journal, things to be grateful about. When we are grateful for things, we're not when we're not in that victim mentality, constantly complaining. When we are grateful, that's when we can attract more good things into our life. That's when we become more magnetic because people can sense people who are grateful. We want to give them more. We don't want to give people who are always complaining, but people who are grateful for what they already have. That's when the world delivers to them more of what they want. When you're truly grateful for what you have already, or the other thing is you can do journaling, putting what's in here out on paper. It is really therapeutic. It means that sometimes we can build up all our thoughts and overthink things, but when you can put it onto paper, this can really help you see things in perspective, see things from taking a step back and almost like release everything that's in your body that's stressing you out. Journaling, journaling is a great way to try and do that every day. If you can write down things that's bothering you maybe or things that you want to do on a daily basis, writing can be a really therapeutic way to help you to collect your thoughts and to process what's going on in here. The other thing that can really help is to listen to music. And I love this way. This is my form of med meditation. I love listening to music because I really find that it can help uplift me, especially when I'm feeling feeling low in mood instantly when I listen to good music. It just makes me feel better. Find what works for you. It could be music. It could be journaling. Find a spiritual way to help you feel centered, calm, and grounded. So these are the four ways that you can practice on a daily basis to become more magnetic. They're not complicated. They can be simple and they're easy to do. I really encourage you to tap into these four different areas to help you to lift your 
vibration to make you more magnetic you will become more magnetic if you practice thing, these things daily because you're not going to look outside of yourself to feel good you're going to find it in different ways that you can practice yourself so you're going to find fulfillment within yourself you're going to find a connection with yourself so you're less likely going to look for it outside yourself become needy and desperate and for people's attention and this is how you become magnetic af i hope you found these four suggestions useful let me know i hope you can maybe try these let me know if you do if you found it useful leave a comment below i love reading your comments i hope you're all doing really well and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care Bye.